Welcome back to Green is Good. This is the Green Festival's edition of Green is Good. And we have Connoisseur Vineyards and Winery on. We've got Max Erlein on with us. He is the USA brand ambassador of Connoisseur. And we have a sample right here of Connoisseur Vineyards and Wines, a bottle of their great wine from Chile. Welcome to Green is Good, Max. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, Max, before we get talking about your great brand, Connoisseur, talk a little bit about your own journey. You were, before we started taping, you were fascinating me with your um, education history and that the fact that you grew up in Santiago, Chile. Yes. But talk a little bit with our audience about being a brand ambassador and the great education that you have and why they chose you to send you here. Well, I think that they chose me because I'm a, I'm a winemaker by profession, you know. I'm an Enologist, really. Exactly. My, my degree is an, uh, in Chile. If you want to be an, a winemaker, first you have to be an uh, agronomist. Agronomist. So that's my, that's my, my, my background. You background. Know? I spent six years studying agronomist or agriculture and engineering. And then you took a specialization of, uh, of the winemaking thing. So that's wow. why they need someone to communicate things. You know, my, my job here is I'm not a sales guy. I came here just for communicate the things that we do in Chile, the, do, the things that we do in Conosur, um, helping the salespeople because sometimes the reps um, from all over the country, um, they have so many brands that they don't know about the, the specific things about Conosur and, and there is nothing better to explain those things uh, from from a winemaker, so that's why. I mean, you're you're really an expert, so they sent an expert. I'm, you always learn, and I'm not an expert. Of course, there's okay. people way better than I. But but in terms of the Chilean wines and the Chilean uh, uh, characteristic of the wines, yeah, right. I can then, I can I can do. Some. And you could talk to talk. You could talk to vernacular with the you know the sommeliers and the restaurateurs exactly. across America yes. you can really deliver the information that they need exactly and it's well it, there is nothing better for communicating from again from a winemaker that's it's brilliant I because mean, it's well different with, for example to say well this is a wine from Chile it's good and it costs X. Right. Besides, there's a wine from Chile from the Valley of Colchagua. It's 100% Sauvignon Blanc. For making this wine, we use this kind of technique, blah, blah, blah. How do I know? Because I made it. You made it. Exactly. That's so perfect. That's, that's and it. for our audience out there that wants to see how to buy and where to find Connoisseur Wines, you can go to their great website, www.vineyardbrands.com. Vineyardbrands.com. That's my importer. That's very important. And, and tell us a little bit, before we get talking about the nuts and bolts of the wine. Um, tell us a little bit about your blogger competition. Oh, the blogger competition, it's a, it's a, it's a competition that we started in UK. Um, uh, the bloggers post some recipes, you know, like a veget uh, vegetarian recipes, sometimes vegan recipes, and okay. um, that can, can that can match up with your wine. Exactly, exactly, oh. and they receive some some incentives. Sometimes they they have special trips. Sometimes they have a special uh, event. You know, it's a it's a it's it's a kind of thing in at least in Europe, and this is going to be the first year that we're going to release in the US. US, in, yes. So for the bloggers out there in the U.S. that love eating sustainable foods but exactly. want to match them with sustainable wine, exactly. you got to go to their website? Yeah, connoisseur.com. Yes. Uh, connoisseur.com? Yes. Or vineyardbrands.com? Also, but or, the Vineyard Brands goes directly to connoisseur.com. Oh, yeah, perfect. But you can go to Vineyard Brands also. Perfect, yeah, no perfect. Problem at all. So it's coming to USA this year for the yes, bloggers in the, the USA. Year. This is the first year. Yes. Wonderful. Um, talk a little bit about how sustainable your brand is through their DNA. So let's talk a little bit about growing the growing uh, the yes. grapes yes. and then also all the way to take us through growing, harvesting and delivery of the wines. Exactly, we, we cover the whole process. Um, first of all, well, 25% of the production of Konosuri is certified organic. We have BCS certification, which is in a German certification. All the 75%, the rest, it's in integrated vineyard management, which is in a sustainable certification. Conosur doesn't make regular management anymore. Um, that means in the organic management, we are not allowed to put any kind of chemical control, such as herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, insects, nothing, nothing kind of sites, right? Wow. Plus, we are not allowed to put any kind of uh, synthetical nutrients, such as uh, urea, superfosfato triple, all, all those kind of nutrients that is so common in the regular agricultural we're not allowed to put it in the in the in the in the soils or into the vineyards that's the viticultural fact okay but also Conosur we have around 11 different certifications uh, from um, different concepts one thing is the organic thing and the other one is the process and 
in all our process, we measure it all the carbon footprint from the from the picking to the actually from the from the farming to the delivery. We measure it all the CO2 emissions. Wow. We identify the part of the process who produce more CO2 and we reduce it. And the things that we can reduce, we compensate it by carbon neutral delivery certification. Wow. We were the first vineyard in the world to get the carbon neutral delivery certification. That means What does that mean? That means that all the CO2 emissions that we we produce from the wow. From the uh, shipping, from the trucks and you, the vessel, you offset it. We compensate it by green bonuses. Uh, just for giving an example, Chile is the southest country in the world. Just one shipment from Chile to China sometimes take, can, could take a hand, one month or a one month and a half in vessel. So right. all the CO2 emissions that that delivery produce that we cannot control, we compensate it. So all these wines, particularly this one, this is a hundred percent organically growing grape uh, wine. Uh, it's an eco glass bottle. That means a lighter bottle. We recycle the labels, uh, and also it's no CO2 emissions. You're not going to find something similar from Chile. At least from Chile, I'm pretty sure you're not going to find something similar. I haven't similar. heard something so, as, yeah. as, uh, I- anywhere. For me, as a, as a winemaker, as a technical uh, area, yeah. it's quite hard to make this wine even greener. I cannot. I, um, you you know, can't think is, of it. Exactly. There is, Science, there is, sci- yeah. Scientific. So the, bo- so the bottle's even we a little bit of like, this bottles. Is, this, this is recycled paper for the, for the from, labels. And from the, ca- from the cases also. Wow. So wow. it's like a, we have the old certifi- certifications, you know, uh, CMARS, uh, carbon neutral delivery, uh, two uh, PCS, double ISO. So it's Talk like a little a, bit about some of the awards you won. You won Green Company of the Year in 2011. Who exactly. gave you that award? It, it was uh, the Drink Business Magazine in the UK. Really? Yes. Wow. And where do you, and, and in the USA, for our, for our listeners, we have listeners and audience viewers around the world, though. Where can people find your your wonderful and delicious wines? We are, we well, I'm working. With, uh, we're working with Vineyard Brands, which is our partner and importer. Um, Vineyard Brands have presence in all over the the country. There is a few states that they don't they don't have presence, but but actually it is all over the country. So um, these wines should be available in from uh, West Coast to East Coast from all, all in over. wine stores or great restaurants. In wine stores, uh, restaurants, uh, and sometimes depends on the state. Some uh, supermarkets and grocery stores either because here in New York we are not allowed to sell it in the in the supermarkets, right? Ah, oh, right, right, but right. But in, in other can, in other states, uh, uh, you you can find it in Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. Does, the, does the Connoisseur brand Max? do what they did with you in the United States? Do they send other enologists that help work on their brand to UK or other countries in the world? Actually, no, I'm the only one. You're the only one. I'm the only one, but, but no, I have to say, I'm not the only Chilean who lives outside of Chile. I got <laughs> You know, we, we, for the for the Asian market, for example, yeah. we have two Chilean people living in Shanghai, living in Shanghai. Okay. For the UK market, we have one guy living in, in, in UK. And I'm living in the States. And from the for the European market, we hired fi- five French people. So we're a Chilean winery who hire French people to sell. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Equal opportunity. Exactly. So exactly. so you're big in France, UK? No, no, no. We're oh. not big in France. No. We're, we're big in certain certain destinies in... in Tell us where. We're big in, uh, in UK. UK. Canada. Canada. Good, Japan. Really? And, and here. But and, and here, well, the main port, the most important thing uh, this year is it puts US. some focus in the U.S. Yes. And how about China? You mentioned two reps in Shanghai. Is it growing in Shanghai? Is it growing in China? The people who live in Shanghai they take over all, all the all over the the Asian market. But yeah, in China, in China we're doing some stuff. We're going to start to growing. So. Start small, and you're going to start yes. the process now. But I have to say that in terms of the organic management and in terms of the sustainable thing, um, I'm I'm quite impressed about how the U.S. are starting to give in a more important... Uh, to sustainability. Uh, exactly. Finally you know, catching up yes, here. Yes, yes. I have to say that Talk I was quite about, impressed. This is one wonderful... This is a Cabernet Sauvignon that you brought. Actually, how? it's a red blend. It's a 60% Cabernet Sauvignon and 40% Carmener from, from Valle Central. In Chile, Valle Central means uh, we use different appellations. Actually, in this case, it's, uh, we use uh, a big percentage of Colchagua. Yeah, but also we use grapes from uh, Limari a little bit, uh, Maipo, Cachaboal, and Maule. Different so, valleys in Chile. So what would this be? Would this be um, dry or on the sweet side, or what is no, this? No, this is a this is a, it's a dry red blend. We dry, don't, dry we don't red make blend. sweet. Yeah, it's you know, a dry red sure. blend. Um, it's a I I really like this wine because um, it's a kind of young style wine. That means it's quite easy to recognize the main characteristic of the of the varieties. You yeah. Know? 
the fruity of uh, um, of Cabernet Sauvignon, the black pepper and tobacco from Carmener. It's a nice acidity, nice minerality, nice touch of oak. Nice it's a, well, they spend one year in, in barrels. Really? Yeah, second use French so, oak. So, um, what other organic wines do you have besides this wonderful wine? We also How have, wide is your selection? Uh, we have four four varieties. This is a red blend, and this is the only blend that Conosur as a winery made. Um, because in Chile, if you if you want to call a wine uh, like a Cabernet Merlot, yeah. well, you have to put at least 85%. I got you. So this is less than 85%, so we cannot call, you know, it's it's, it's a red blend, which I like it that way. Right. We, we like it that way. Okay. Um, but we also we made uh, Pinot Noir, Sauvignon Blanc, and Chardonnay. So these four? Yes. Part of your organic line. Organic and they're all yes. here in America now, too? They are all here in America. Um, um, yeah, they're all here in America. And, gotcha. Uh, also, there are the other ones, like a Bicicleta line. Uh, we drive bicycles. For us, bicycle is that we're... Yeah, what does that our, mean? Our cellar is located in Chimbarongo, which is a is a small town two hours south from Santiago. Right. So, for example, the workers wake up in the morning. Uh, they pick the bike to go to the cellar to work in the pruning, in the harvest, in the picking, or even in the cellar too. So, ah. it's a way to honor our workers because sometimes the winemaker is the rock star and the winemaker but nobody takes care about the, the, the workers who actually those guys made a really hard job and they make a really good job so right. it's a way to to give us to to give the workers a recognition we put the labels we put the bicycles which is something to, to belong them, exactly to show that this exactly. is a this is an effort of everybody exactly from the ground up secondly, those workers secondly, with you exactly wow. uh, the bicycle or bicicleta represents That's the great. commitment that Conosur have with the environment like a green company of the year uh, wow. one of the top uh, uh, top 10 most admired brands you know and represent the commitment that we have with the environment and the third reason Conosur is a kind of young company running by young spirit people, you know. For us, bicycle is something fun. It's something simple that everybody can do. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a rich people. You don't have to own your own chateau, whatever. It's very so, democratized. Exactly. So something that everybody can do. And it's that's inclusive. So nice. It's integrated. So that's mm. why we put the bicycles. And so far, it's been a huge success. Um, bicycle. If you go to our cellar in Chimbarongo or in Chile, Instead of we put you in a Mercedes Benz or in a chopper, we're gonna put you in a bike. That's nice. You know, from from I've seen it in the CEOs or big presidents or big brands, we put them on bikes, and they're happy riding bikes into the vineyards, and, and they probably, love it. It's probably one of the best experiences exactly. of their life. Exactly. Yeah, for 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 foreign people, you don't have too many chances to ride bikes in a vineyard in Chile, so it's a good experience. Right, right, experience. right, right. We're down to the last minute and a half, Max. Any last thoughts you want to share with our audience and our listeners and our viewers about your beautiful wine connoisseur? Well, first of all, thank you for the for the um, for the support that you guys have given to Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Um, we're really happy to be here. Um, for the, I think that really, I'm every winemaker. Of course, is, uh, but have please really go proud ahead. Of the, but yeah. Um, this wine have a lot of good attributes. It's not just organic. It's uh, it's just, it's uh, a carbon neutral. All the um, ah the other thing, this year this uh, in the Wine Spectator magazine, this the same one. But yes. in the Harvest 2011 right. was chosen number 44 in the world. They have top hundred. This uh, one right here in front yeah, of us in the 2011. 2011. Yeah. So wow. Besides the fact this is organic and sustainable, and no CO2 emissions. It's one of the best wines in the world in the, the at least the 2011 harvest. So wow. we we're, we're talking about here something which is affordable, clean and with a really good quality. And it's actually great quality exactly. and it's good for you. Exactly. Well, that's the, you've had it today. This is the first time we've ever had um, the actual winemaker himself. Max, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. It's been an honor to have you on and Connoisseur, to have Connoisseur on. For the bloggers out there that want to join the new competition with their four new, with their four organic wines, please go to www.vineyardbrands.com to learn more about Connoisseur or learn more about their blogger competition or join it exactly. please go now you know you know i gotta tell you this you are a rock star sustainability <laughs> rock star no, no, no. and truly living proof no that man. green is good thank no. you so much thank you so much thank you thank you so much thank you Bye -bye.